What's up, YouTube? Shadow Slayer Phoenix here, and we're actually, I've been making attempts, making attempts, making attempts, and finally buckled. Um, so I'm going to start doing Transformers reviews again from my old channel. Um, so f for the first one, is actually a pretty large one. Um, here we have Beast Fire Predaking, who is massive. Um, he is a Target exclusive. I don't have the box directly on hand and don't feel like rushing over to grab it. It's, yeah, it's hidden. Um, he's huge. He is what you expect from a, uh, Cybertronian dragon. Um, he does have a great wingspan. Um, if I can get his arms or his front legs to angle real quick. We'll show that thing off real quick. Um, I, I don't know if you can see the, the, the full wingspan here, but it is pretty massive. It's... It's, it's just, it's pretty damn massive. Alright. Get over there. Um, so moving on to the actual play features of the toy. Uh, other than the wingspan, you know, he can, you can fold up his wings and everything. Um, he did come with a couple of, uh, blaster missile launchers that can plug up into his wings. Or at the crown of his wings, I believe that's what it's called. And they do shoot. Set those off to the side, because I really don't care for them. Um, we'll re-unfold or uncurl his uh, wings. And let me refix this. And his main feature, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this because of all the lighting I've got. Um, you, you have this little trigger here that you pull down and it causes his neck and mouth to come down all at once, uh, just open and close. His eyes, his eyes and his crown do light up. I'll try to get that. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it, it, they do light up red, and it's it's really a nice feature. It's just, I don't want to say terribly done. It's just that the, the way the neck is arced and everything, and at the end of March, hopefully I'll have the money for it, uh, Shapeway Toys um, has a add-on or a uh, upgrade set that takes this entire head assembly just uses the crown up here takes this just takes this away minus the crown the yellow crown you keep for it and replaces it with an actual show accurate head that actually w it it just it feels more proportionate than this um and going on to his tail which it, it just looks like a very a longer version of the Voyager one, which I didn't think to pull out. Um, so I don't have it as a full example. Um, so yeah, it's just there. He is in his patented black orange, you know, black and orange with silver and the yellow here and there showing up. Um, so not all that bad, not all that bad. Um, one thing though that you can also do. Uh, once I get the head, I'll properly show this off. Uh, like in the episode Chain of Command, on how there was... Even in the rest of Beast Hunters, there was parts where he didn't have his wings. They did make this so that you can pop off the wings. If I can ever get this. There we go. Pop off his wings, and now he can run around and chase after your Autobots as he pleases. Rawr. Um... The wings themselves, like, are... They're, they're pretty easy to deal with. Um, for the sake of transforming them quickly, I am going to uh, keep them off. Um, so, we'll just set those off to the side as well. So, for transformation. Wings aside, like, in, with the wings on him, he is still a pain in the butt. Like, I, I want to call it a pain in the butt. It's just, you have to maneuver the wings at the same time. So to start the transformation, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop off this tail. It comes out simple, easy, and it looks like a giant club blade thing. So we'll set that off to the side as well. So my favorite part about this toy has got to be the legs. Both versions of Predaking, I love their legs. Voyager and Ultimate Beast Fire, whatever you want to call it. Whatever class he is. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to uncurl the legs. We're going to push up his knee uh, his um knee protector. So you're gonna, the first thing you do is you unpeg him, and then you push up the knee guard. And then, 
just pull out the leg or uh, uncurl the leg and then snap it into place. At this point you're probably wondering why is that my favorite little feature on this? Because it's unique. I can't off the top of my head, I mean if everybody if you want to leave comments down below on like what figures have this kind of leg thing as well, um, it, I can't think of any other Transformer that has this kind of leg thing. And it just, it works. So plug that in. And already we have a fairly tall bot who's just ready to claw your eyes out. So from here, we're just going to take the head and pull it back. Dragon head pulls back and somewhere it's supposed to tab in. And now I can't find the tab. All I know is that it holds back here fairly well. Like, I mean, if I... Uh, okay, now it doesn't want to do that. Great, you're on camera and now you don't want to do it. You bastard. Alright, so I guess we're just going to leave that. Moving on to the head. The, the, the rest of the head is just... Turn the head. I can see you. Next, the hands. Just close the dragon feet. Close the hand itself. Do the same thing. And then just push him down. And then take his shoulders, or shoulder spikes, and fold them out. And to finish the robot mode, we're going to take the wings back. We're going to put them back on. Unless you want that show accurate predicating, then ta-da. You're just missing a decent head sculpt. <laughs> anyway, we're going to put the wings on, because... I don't know, it's, I like the toy with the wings on there. Personal preference. Um, I know a lot of people don't care either way. They usually just keep them on so they don't lose the wings. And even with the wings on there, he's still a pretty intimidating looking guy. I mean, just look at that. I believe there is a repro label set. Um, I'm not sure. Don't quote me. If you do know, though, link, please, uh, that puts a little Predacon emblem here and something else on his chest. I just can't remember what it was. It may be just another red sticker that has it, but I've seen some people with altered, um, pre ultimate Predakings that have that mark on there, and it's like, that That would be really cool to throw in here. A uh, little hint for third-party companies out there, you know who you are, a new head sculpt, like, to keep the, like, the gimmick is, the, the, the little light-up feature on this mode is, you push down on this yellow button, and bam, his eyes, his spikes, and even a bit of his chest, I don't know how well you can see that again, but even a bit of his chest just lights up, and it's fantastic. I, I actually really do like that feature, I, I will say. It. Um, so getting back to the review, let me put those back. Um, articulation is fairly okay. I mean, his arms can fully rotate the full 360. Uh, he's got great up and down uh the arm swivel is just where you want it to be. Wrist swivel, same thing. It's just... It, 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 his hand, you just have to play with it. He has no uh, back motion. But he can move it slightly inward, just not a whole lot. Uh, so that's that. Head just turns 360. Um, wing articulation is just about the same as in dragon mode. So we won't even talk about that. Um... Actually, I am going to pop these off to get at the legs. Alright. Legs, fairly actually decent. Um, they can come all the way up, so you can make them do the splits. I mean, the, the, it's fun. Um, and then they do come up, actually, to, to make that little nice 90 degree arc. So you can sit him on something, and he will, he will actually sit there. I had him sit on, like, a book. And because of this flap, even if you push this flap up, he still sits fairly okay. It, it, if I had the hard surface right now, because I've been moving stuff around in my room, that's why this setup is so weird. But he, he's he got decent leg movement. Uh, he's got the uh, leg swivel in just the right spot as well. And his ankle... Give me a second. His ankle is on a ball joint, you just have to work it the right way, and it's not much. It's just enough to say, hey, I can actually assume some pretty awesome poses, and that's about it. So, for the upteenth time, let's put these back on.
There we go. Sorry. There we go. Alright. So going on to his weapons and accessories and all those doodads. His little rocket launchers, um, they can, they can go into his hand, it's just on my, uh, version of the toy. They do not like to sit on the hand pegs all too well. Where is it? There it is. I mean, on the bottom ones, they fit just fine. Um, and, but on the arm where, you know, if, again, if you've seen the show, which is where they should be, they actually do make a fairly decent representation of the blaster that he forms with his arm in the one episode. I can't remember what episode it was. But you do get a, a fairly nice little... And the missiles do still fire. So that's always a treat. Uh, they still peg up onto the wings. Let me get that in there real quick. On either side. And it, it's like, up here on the wings, is, for me, is probably going to be where I store them the most. Either that or on his forearm. Um, and it, they don't look too bad without, like, when the missile isn't in, in them, they don't look too bad on his wings. They really don't. Even in dragon mode, they really don't look all that bad. I mean, there's a face view. You, you don't really see them. And they, even when you turn them around like this, too, you... you don't see them unless you're specifically looking for them. You don't really see them. Like bulb. Um So the last accessory is actually his tail, which becomes the Infernum Sword. Now, I haven't read the comics or any of that for Transformers Prime, but from what I know, the Infernum Sword is supposed to be the Predacon version of the Star Saber. Like the, Decept like, the Autobots have the Star Saber, the Decepticons have the Dark Star Saber, and then for the Transformers Prime continuity, apparently the Predacons have the Infernum Blade, which... Again, I haven't read the comics, please don't quote me. I, I really don't know. I mean, I've been trying to get t the time to read the comics, but... From what I know, the Infernum Blade is the Predacon equivalent of the Star Saber. And... When you look at it just as the sword, it actually looks kind of cool. Like, I I'll say it. I, I like it. It's really kind of a cool-looking sword. It's different. It's unique. And for whatever reason, all of a sudden, now... Okay, the before I started really showing you it, he wanted to hold it. Now he doesn't. Um, mine, he holds it fairly well. Not too, too well on the top, as usual. Um... I mean, I'll hold him upside down, and I won't be afraid of it falling out of his hand, because I, I, it's like, it's in there, but it comes out wicked easily. Um, he can also fling it over his shoulder. Blake, hey, you. I'm gonna cut you down to size. Um, so, overall, I mean, a lot of people don't like him, a lot of people do like him, I'm one of those people that, because he is a $50, $60 toy, um, I'd say it, go on the fence about it, um, unless you, thing is, is he is a 50, between a 50 and $60 toy, depending on where you go, uh, my target was advertising him for, I believe, 60 and then I had stopped there earlier today, and he was on the clearance rack, and I was like, okay, what is he, 40 I mean, that, that's even then, that's still a reasonable price. Wasn't even 25 I bought mine for less than $15. I live in Massachusetts. Tax here is something, something, something dark side. I believe... Your initial, this guy's initial price point was something like, his actual price tag was like thirteen forty eight or something, or twelve forty eight. I'm sorry, and then it came out to thirteen something. So let's say fourteen dollars all in all. I paid for this guy for fourteen bucks. I'm not gonna say no. He, I get a fifty sixty dollar toy, bought for fourteen. And to be honest, he, he 
I can definitely see where people say, you know, he's not worth the money. But I like him. So, that's Transformers Prime, Beast Hunters, uh, Predacons Rising, Beast Fire, Predaking. Buy him. Don't buy him. I have him. I don't care. Uh, is he a solid figure? I'd say so. So, last thoughts? Last image. This is Shadow Slayer Phoenix. Light bulb.